Then last night, Sandra Inman, incarcerated at the Southeastern Ohio Regional Jail, asked to speak with her attorney. Shortly thereafter, revealed the location of Summer Inman's body. Um, it was behind a, uh, a church just off US 33. Uh, she was located in a septic system. Uh, the, uh, the body was in a septic system uh, to the rear of the church. It would appear that she was killed um, um, very quickly that evening, the evening of the, the crime. The body was very much intact. Uh, a number of photographs um, or identification was found along with the identification of her children. The, uh, the identification we were very comfortable with. Well, the system is, is accessed. It has a cap over this uh, septic system. I, I'm guessing uh, 20 inches uh, round, maybe uh, six Phillips head screws uh, that would have to be removed, that were removed in order for us to gain access. Uh, how deep the well, I, I'm not comfortable. I don't know how deep this system is. I will say that I will leave it up to the Athens County coroner uh, to determine a cause of death. Um, I don't feel comfortable responding. Some information indicates that, uh, it, it, at least at one time, they may have been uh, members of this church. I, I'm not sure of any other connection. Well, I'm, I'm hoping we can have closure. I think we need to you know, keep the uh, Summers family uh, in our prayers and thoughts. Uh, it, has, it has been very difficult um, uh, to, to, to go with this case and make contact um, with her family each day, uh, not knowing uh, what has happened to their daughter. So I, 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 as, as well as the family can be doing, uh, I believe they've accepted this, and, and hopefully they and this community can move on, as difficult as that's going to be.